So for me, there's nothing more satisfying than having a really big bowl of garlic and butter pasta. Okay, so we're gonna start off this recipe with cutting up some of our Porto Bellini mushrooms. Uh, you can also use shiitake mushrooms if you like. Um, I usually use shiitake mushrooms, but today I couldn't find any, so portobellini mushrooms will do. And actually, it's not a bad choice since uh, they are very high in vitamin B. So B vitamins are really important for the nervous system and for having healthy skin, eyes, uh, and liver, and hair. So it's actually a big bonus to use portobellini mushrooms. And not only because of their uh, because they're nutrient dense, but also because they're quite meaty in texture. So uh, for you vegans out there, it's uh, a really good alternative to meat. So my cutting skills are quite laughable actually, but I didn't want to leave the mushrooms in slices. I actually want them in small chunks. So just go to town like this. <laughs> so we've gone ahead and chopped about 300 grams of portobellini mushrooms. You can go ahead and chop as much as you like. There's no real uh, measurements to this recipe really. Um, so now we're going to grate some garlic and here I have some cypress garlic cloves and I'm actually using the whole thing, so the whole garlic. Um, now what we're going to do is just grate it up because this after all is a garlic and butter pasta. So you're gonna wanna use a lot of garlic. And for those of you who don't like garlic, then obviously this is not the recipe for you. <laughs> okay, so we've gone ahead and chopped up all our vegetables for the sauce, and now we're going to prepare our pasta. So, we are going to put a generous amount of sea salt, okay? Because you always have to remember that the water that you're gonna be placing the pasta in needs a lot of sea salt, like the Mediterranean. Okay, and now, today I'm actually gonna be using brown rice pasta. Guys, I just can't use white uh, pasta anymore, like with white flour. It bothers me, I end up feeling sluggish afterwards and it's just not for me. So I found this brown rice pasta very delicious. Putting it in. Perfect. So we're gonna let this boil and now we're going to get back to our garlic and butter sauce. Okay, so we're starting off with some butter. If you're vegan, make sure to be using vegan butter, okay? So we're gonna put in about 100 to 150 grams of butter, okay? So this is a lot of butter going into our non-toxic frying pan. And to that, we're going to add in half of our minced garlic. Just going to mix that around until the butter melts and the garlic is nicely infused with the butter. Mmm, that smells delicious. Really, really nice smell coming through, as you can imagine. And now we are going to add in the mushrooms. As much as your frying pan can fit. <laughs> Just give that a mix. Make sure that all of the portobellini mushrooms are covered in this beautiful, glorious garlic and butter sauce. And now we just have to wait until our mushrooms cook a little bit, which won't take long, as you know. So now what we're gonna do is add some black pepper, a couple pinches, and a little bit of salt, sea salt, although not too much because the butter already contains some salt, and three tablespoons of coconut cream. So I just opened up a can of coconut milk, this is organic coconut milk, and I had it refrigerated overnight. And I just scooped out three tablespoons of the cream from the top of the can. And it's not gonna make our pasta coconutty, but it's gonna give it a nice kind of creamy texture and add a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna give that a nice mix. 
So we've strained the pasta and now we are going to place it into our frying pan. And don't forget to put the heat on low at this point. So we're just going to mix the pasta in with the creamy mushroom sauce. Mm, all those nice smells coming through. Garlic and butter and the portobellini mushrooms. And this is such a quick and easy recipe. Pfft, a mushroom fell. But this is great because it's not like we're making a cream sauce where you need to add flour. It's actually pretty healthy aside from the butter, you know, but it's actually pretty healthy. And now we're gonna add a lot of herbs to this because of course we need to add some herbs. So we're gonna go ahead and add in all of these wonderful herbs. I've got basil, I've got parsley, and I've got coriander. These are filled with antioxidants, which is why I love adding them to my pasta. And then once again, we're just gonna give it a mix. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of my garlic, okay? Guys, garlic, it's, um, was used in ancient times as a medicine and it is uh, still used um, for its medicinal properties in modern in modern history as well so uh, garlic reduces cholesterol and high blood pressure and it also helps uh, fight the common cold so it's good for you so we're just gonna mix all that in oh yes so as a final touch, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more butter, some black pepper, and I'm just going to give that a mix. Remember, this dish is all about garlic, butter. It is a garlic and butter pasta, okay? Okay, so I just plated my pasta, and now obviously I need to try it and make sure that it's good, you know, for you, those of you who are gonna try this recipe. <laughs> Messy girl. Mm. Mm. The mushrooms make it really meaty and the herbs add so much flavor to it. The only thing that I would say is that I didn't salt it enough because I thought that the butter was enough, but I'm not done. I don't think anyone cares about I'm your not opinion. Done. I think they care about my opinion. Wait, 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 let me salt it. People care about my opinion. Let me salt it. It needs salt. Is oh it good? Mmm. Mmm, the mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms are really meaty and add so much flavor to the dish. And you know, it's not one of those like... Uh, it's so it's, good. It's not a carbonara. It's not like something very saucy. It's just a very simple pasta that you can make and whip up in just a few minutes at home. I'm sorry, but this is my dish. You ain't gonna touch this now. Okay. okay. That's yours. You make something else for yourself. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Let me just taste it now with the salt. Hmm. So adding salt makes such a big difference. Hmm. Okay guys, that's the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I truly hope that you make this recipe at home. It's really super easy and quick, uh, simple dish that you can make for you and your family. So if you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe because we are here every single Wednesdays and Sundays giving you plant-based goodness. So I'll see you guys next time for the next recipe.